Did you like the movie? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't like the movie. Hey, whoa. Hey, give me your money. Necklace too. Mom? It's okay. Here. Take it. I said a necklace. Get your hands off her. Great charity, Bruce. Hello, Talia. How's your father? Not like you to throw such a casual event. It's just a few million. Nothing to go black tie over. Only a few million. How are you, Helena? You look good. You know, it's even rarer for someone like me to be invited to something like this, especially by the event holder himself. I invited you so we could talk. I didn't come because of your invitation. Then why did you come? Free drinks. Some of us have to budge in for our costumes. Three months, Bruce. Three months of nothing since your little test, and now you want to talk. What makes today different from yesterday, last week, last month, or I don't know, the day I got my ass kicked? Keep your voice down. You need a time to heal. I need a time to observe. Observe what? Me? See what I would do after I was nearly killed three different ways? To learn? That this was a setup that you sold me out for a test of some sort of assurances? Well, you seem pretty assured. You did give away the identity of Batman. No, an eye for an eye, right? My decision was a calculated risk. I knew that the Riddler would have no need of you once he got to me, but you. You were rash. You were in the moment. To save Vic. Charles put himself there. He would have been fine. And what if he hadn't? What if it had been some truly innocent person there? Would you still be lecturing me here? As far as I'm concerned, I passed your dumb test. And you're lucky he didn't believe me. And luck is about to be tested again. Invite him? Relax. Helena! You are the last person I'd expect to see in a place like this. Likewise, Nigma. Always interesting how last names are used. To show respect, it's Mr. Nigma. So tell me, Ms. Bertinelli, how have you been faring? Fine. What are you doing here? Apparently, I was invited. Amazing. No one recognized you in this crowd. Oh, I don't need a cow that covers everything but my jawline to get around. And I don't normally invite criminals to my charity events. Yet they show up anyway. But you're right. I wasn't invited like Huntress here. But something tells me I would be welcome. Am I wrong? Batman? That's a loaded assumption, Edward. Not much of an assumption, Bruce. You see, Ms. B here made the confession. Only because he set us up to it. <laughs> Well, I am sure that this wasn't something you planned for then, huh? I prepare for everything. And yet here I am, walking right into one of your little events with enough people to efficiently spread your little secrets. 
I'm the greatest riddle of all, you might say. I thought you didn't believe me. Truth be told, it seemed too obvious. Forgive me, Bruce, it didn't seem the type. But then I realized, Catholic girls don't lie. What do you want, Edward? Oh, I remember that. That was your favorite question last we met. You know, I was hoping I could talk about that cute riddle you tried to hide in the article about your silly charity. But fine, I'll get straight to it. I want you to stand up, tap your glass with one of your silver spoons, and tell everyone in this room who you really are. That's simple. That's simple. I would tell them myself, but your word gains far more leverage than mine. Then why would I do that? Because if you don't, I set off the 20 pounds of C4 I've attached to each corner of the room. Where's the C4? I said it's in the room. Tell us or I'll break your face. Helena. Just as feisty as I remember. Edward, what do we need to do? I'm gonna cut straight to it, Bruce. Here's the trigger. Here's my thumb. Go up there, right now, and tell them. You're not concerned about yourself. Quite frankly, no. I'm tired. And if an insignificant tramp like this can outwit me... You didn't use any riddles. Then it's time I kept things as simple as I can and get the answer straight out. Could I have everyone's attention, please? On behalf of the Wayne Foundation, I would like to welcome you and thank you so much for coming out here today. I see a lot of new faces and a lot of old ones. Older ones. But I wanted to thank you so much for your generous contribution to the Arkham Psychological Unit. Because of your generosity, there are many people who, due to their pasts, have resorted to violent crime, and they're now getting the help that they need. And as we would hate to admit it, the Batman can't do everything. Which leads me to a confession. Now, some of you may or may not know I was a victim of a violent crime when I was a child. I saw my parents gunned down in front of me. As you can imagine, it takes its toll on a child. I took a sabbatical for 10 years, and when I came back, I saw that the law enforcement that we had in place was no longer adequate. So I took my resources and my fortune, and I fought crime on every level. And I've done that for years and years. Well, it's gotten to the point to where I'm no longer fit to carry that mantle. And I'm passing it on to a next generation, entrusting a new group with my resources to carry on that fight for me. So as of right now, I'm retiring. That's right. I'm Batman.
That is a good one, Bruce. You're pulling our legs. <laughs> no, no, it's right. I am Batman. <laughs> Honestly, um, if you, if you play a few notes on this piano, then the grandfather clock will open up and you've got stairs down to the bat cave. <laughs> I've got the Batmobile down there. I've got the bat boats. I've got the bat plane. I've got the suit. You know that big rubber suit? It's not easy with that voice. I, I am vengeance. Swear to me. Swear to me. It's tough. You know, and I run around at night, I've got the cape and I'm oh. flapping around and swinging and swinging. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Just a um, little too many of these, I guess. But anyway, I wanted to thank everyone for everything. Enjoy the night. Jesus, Bruce. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. Appearances are everything, Edward. Oh, I'll tell everyone I know. Yeah, every freak in this town. You've already told everyone that you know. You've told them that you know who I am, but you haven't told them who. I'm patient enough for the highest bidder. You're hesitating. Why in the world would I hesitate, Bruce? Because you know what I'll do. Helena made that perfectly clear to you but I'm willing to make a deal. You're not cut out for this line of work anymore, Edward, but you are experienced in it. Why, you have some criminal relocation program. Arkham Asylum hasn't had a decent psychological therapist in years. I wonder why. If you agree to go to Arkham, I'll see that you have special privileges. You'll have your own personal cell with privileges that the other inmates don't have. You'll have supervised leave with good behavior but you'll be a therapist there in an unofficial capacity. What are you talking about? I'm not becoming part of some group therapy session. It's either that or you go back and spend the rest of your life in a cell alone. We both know that you've been fighting years to keep that from happening. Edward, you're right. You are tired. You're tired of trying to prove to everyone how intelligent you are and your weakness is taking you down this path and it's wearing you down. We let Helena go on that path with you as a test for her, and she passed. So this uh, psychoanalysis of yours is supposed to put me on the side of righteousness? Edward, you are intelligent. You could be the most brilliant mind that I've ever faced, and I've run up against you many times. You've taken me closer to the brink than anyone else challenged me like no one else. But I've always caught you. Because deep down, you've wanted to be caught. You've allowed it. It's like with Helena. She exploited my secret identity. And how did you react? You let me go. You let her go. You acknowledged her as an equal. Without even knowing this, you were able to bring out the best in Helena. And if you did that with her, I think you can do that with others that need it the most. Why are you even bothering with this? All my life I've worked at putting criminals away. I've never thought about putting them right. And you think my silence will, will be payment for this charity you're offering me? I don't know, Edward. But what I do know is I'm a man of my word. Dick? 
Didn't see you come in. Well, I'm doing my job. <laughs> Keep an eye on those two. I really was impressed with you. <sighs> impressed? months back. That thing about his identity never even crossed my mind. Well, it seemed pretty obvious. You don't think he's telling the truth, do you? About what? About offering you a place at Arkham. I don't know. It seems so unlike him. It's not a character. <laughs> How are you and Vic? <laughs> Nearly broke up after that ordeal. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Well, uh, I am sure that Mr. Wayne had your best interests at heart. I suppose. Hero stuff. It's tougher than you think. It does sound taxing. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Especially for me. I mean, I've pissed off half the league. I've got a warrant out for my arrest. I'm just not as put together as Bruce. He's got it all figured out. And I, I just felt like a mess half the time. I just, I want to get the same level of humility you have, you know, wisdom. What the hell am I doing? You're a fucking criminal. <laughs>